everything ended up in failure. Everything was disappointing. The same things over and over and over again. And I was sick of it. And I failed miserably in life. And so I was like, I was really doing this, I don't know, I was just being cursed, I guess. And we like to say, oh God, you know, he's cursing people. Um, the uh, verse 25. It says, the Lord shall cause you to be defeated before your enemies. You will go out one way against them, but you will flee seven ways before them. And you will be an example of terror to all the kingdoms. Um, he says all these bad things will happen. He says this, you shall become a horror, a proverb, and a taunt among all the people where the Lord drives you. Verse 45, so all these curses shall come on you and pursue you and overtake you until you're destroyed because you would not obey the Lord your God by keeping his commandments and the statutes which he commanded you. Um, when I stop and say he became sin, I want to get this point out, is that he received the curses of the Old Testament. That when Christ died on a cross, that's exactly what he received. You know, a lot of times when we talk about the cross and what happened to him and stuff on the cross, it's the bloodiness, it's the badness, it's the well, it's the gruesomeness and all the pain that he went through. Um, but to stop and think that um, God had wrath on humanity and on sinners and he was willing and took that. And he took those curses. Oh, what? He took all those curses. And that he would be off by himself and that he'd be forsaken. What's his, what's his statutes? What's what? Uh, his commandments. Statutes? Yeah, what does that mean? Well, the Lord your God, by keeping his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded you. Um, commandments, I think, are simple enough. And yeah, but the Ten Commandments and statutes were probably have been written in the book of Moses that were placed on the ark. That's Leviticus, the, the things that they were supposed to do, civil laws, and those other things. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, so here I see that, you know, it's blessing or cursing, and here Christ, if he became sin, he received a curse. He received every curse. One who didn't know any sin and had done everything completely right, who had created this world, and was willing to be with man all the way through, would receive all the curses of it. Oh my God. And if I skip all the way up to Matthew chapter 5, it's Matthew chapter 5. The blessings, right? The blessings Jesus pronounced among people. He said, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. But what if they were cursed? How about if those that never did follow after Christ, they wouldn't have no blessing. The curse would be that you'd always mourn. That would be a terrible existence. And I thought, and always more. Um, to receive nothing, verse 5, blessed are the gentle, for they shall inherit the earth. Actually, they would receive nothing. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. No, they won't. Those that wouldn't follow Christ would never be satisfied. And I don't know if you know what it's like to live a life like that, but you're never satisfied. Uh, it's, it's not horrible. I mean, it's horrible. Blessed are the